Hello guys, welcome to another session. My name is Mr. Anthony Anumel from Piedmont Global Academy. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to rotate an object on the coordinate grid. We're gonna limit our object here or our rotation to a 90 degree clockwise rotation and a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. So this is my object right here. My object kind of looks like a kite. I like kites. I hope you like kites too. Now, the first thing I want to do is to locate the points here that make up this kite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate these points and then write them over here. My very first point is at the origin. And you know that at the origin, the coordinates there are zero, zero. So I'm going to write that here. My first point is zero and zero. Now I'm looking at this point too. I see that the coordinates there are six and two. So this is my second point, six and two. My third point is six and six. So six and six. My fourth point is two and six. So this becomes two and six. And what I'm gonna do finally is to just label these. So this is my A, this is my B, this is my C, and my D, all right? So this is A, point A, point B, point C, and point D. So what I'm gonna do first and foremost is to rotate this at a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So for a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, I'm simply moving my object from this quadrant into this quadrant right here. So this becomes my angle of rotation, which is 90 degrees. So meaning my object is going to move into this quadrant. So the first thing I wanna do first to make this happen is to turn these coordinates around, right? So I'm switching the X's and the Y's together. So for the first point, zero, zero stays at zero, zero. Six, two switches to two, six. Six, six switches to six, six. And then two, six switches to six, two. And now that we know that this falls into the fourth quadrant, it means that the X values of my coordinates are going to be positive and the Y values of my coordinates are going to be negative. So this simply means that these are going to change to negative. So zero, zero still stays zero, zero. Two and six stays or changes to two and negative six. We have six and negative six here then this ends up as six and negative two. So we're gonna plot our new image right here. All right, the coordinates of our new image. So I'm gonna start with zero, zero. So this is gonna be zero, zero. I'm gonna call it A prime. The second coordinate is two and negative six. So this is two and negative six. This is going to be my B prime, my new image. Third, six and negative six, six and negative six. That's gonna be my C prime. And then D, which is six and negative two, falls right here, which will be my D prime. So now I'm gonna to proceed to draw my new image which will look just like this. So for a 90 degree clockwise, counterclockwise rotation, I'm going in the opposite direction, right? So whereas clockwise goes this way, counterclockwise goes this way, all right? And so that, what that means is that my new image is gonna be in this quadrant. And in this quadrant, the X's change to negatives, and the Y's stay as positives, all right? So I already switched them here, 
and so the x's become negatives like i just said so i'm plotting these points here and this is what i get i get b prime which is negative two six c prime which is negative six six and then d prime which is negative six two and so this is how my new image looks like i hope you learned something new today in eighth grade and i'll be coming your way again with a new video take care of yourselves guys